I can't believe how far these machines have advanced in the last two decades. There's nothing we can't make on our star sliding headlights. So the part that comes off at the end of the day is no different from the part that comes off at the beginning of the shift. So Martin, you've been a star sliding head lathe user now for um, almost two decades. If you could describe to me how much these machines have changed in that period, that would be great for our audience. Yes, yeah, sure. The most notable change really is the speed of the rapids. So the time it takes for the tip to get to the material is the, the downtime, the time that the machines aren't cutting. So by and large, the cutting time remains similar for machines of any age, but it's how, how rapidly you get to that particular time, which is the important. When you talk about tools, some of these machines have a lot of cutting tools on them, don't they? Here yes. we see you can do balance turning on this machine. There's a lot that can happen in here. Is that something that's advanced as well? The actual capabilities of what you've got inside the working area? Yes, absolutely. I mean, some of the earlier machines, there are less tooling stations. There's less options available. And if, with more options becomes more um, versatility. You can, you, can apply, you can apply your cutting style in, in different ways, if that makes any sort of sense. Um, but having the options there is always going to be preferable to not having them. And how about the power? One of the things we hear about the star machines is the, the power of the spindles has, has been improved and is far greater than it used to be as well. How does that affect you? But when we first came to buy the machine in the first instance, it was the fact that the machines that were available had more power than its competitors at the time that forced us in that direction. And as the power has increased, it allows us to drill larger holes, tap larger holes. It also increases the speed that we can uh, cut the material at. And all that adds to cycle time advantage as well. What about the milling as well, Martin? Because we hear a lot about these machines now being used as almost milling centres in some degree. Yeah. Would you agree with that, that these are really capable in that area? Well, certainly that is the case. And again, this is part of the reason why we went for buying machi these machines in the first instance, that all those operations that used to be done secondarily and manually are all done in one hit. But the amount of milling that we do has definitely increased. So with certain parts, we take probably more material off with the end mill than we do with a turning tool. Unmanned running, you need to do a lot of that here to remain competitive. How much of these machines advanced recently to be as compatible with unmanned running as possible? Well, there are certain notable things. All the machines come with fire suppression as standard. Uh, that means that you've got some confidence that obviously that you're not going to have, you're going to come back to a factory in the morning. Uh, we run a night shift and we run a day shift, so our unmanned running tends to be for shortish periods, which suits our operations quite well. But those extra hours are invaluable because they're, they're bottom line stuff. And for those that don't know how flexible these machines are, Martin, what would you say to engineers that uh, have not considered sliding head technology? The benefits are enormous. And you, it, I understand the, the reluctance to take the plunge sometimes, but once you do, you won't go back. All those operations that you're currently having to do in two or three uh, hits that you're, with all the added complication goes away and you end up with a finished part in one go. And realistically, there's not many levels of complexity that you're going to struggle with. It should be able to do pretty much anything that can be, can be machined. If you were to buy another machine, would it always be a sliding head? And if it was, would it be from Star? Is that where you get the most value in your company? Certainly from a sliding head, what, once you've We've got 24 machines, they're all STARS, and the backup that we get from STAR, the service and support is, is second to none, and there's, there's no reason to go anywhere else. The range of machines is superb, so that it covers all the bases that we would want from that side. Yes, we do buy other machines, we buy fixed head machines and so on and so forth to do sizes that at the moment are beyond STARS capability, but they're compatible machines, uh, and fall in with our philosophy of trying to push the footprints of what we can achieve for our customers as wide as possible.